What's up guys, I'm BTC. Blizzard just put out what is probably the last teaser for Hero 27. Can we get a Jetpack Cat confirmed? Alright guys, let's just jump right into it. The most important part of this image, of course, is the bottom right, the cat paw and the mouse toy. That means that Hero 27 is Jetpack Cat 100% confirmed. I wish. It's probably not. It's probably going to be Bridget. I actually have to ask you guys a quick question. I know I talk about Jetpack Cat a lot and I bring it up a bunch, but am I the only one that actually does that or do other content creators also talk about Jetpack Cat? Because I know I talk about, like, I always bring it up and I don't know if I'm the only one because you guys are always commenting on my videos, you know, Jetpack Cat, so. Alright, so let's check out the rest of the image. I already went and translated it from Swedish to English. The Slaga version 3.0 means Flail 3.0. And then on the right hand side, you can see it's kind of half covered. It looks a little bit like a Roadhog Hook type deal. It says Slaga and then I can't really pronounce the rest of it. It basically means Flail with Chain or something to that effect. And then in the middle of the screen, you can see segment, it just, just means segment. And then the titanium leggering or something like that, it means titanium alloy. On the right hand side, there's that little pad. The first one, I couldn't really find a translation for that. I think it means like microfiber or something. Underneath that is titanium again. And then gummy blad, which sounds like a weird kind of candy, is actually rubber sheets. The next one it says three millimeter and that's a recessed bolt. The next one down says hog mutter and it, I couldn't quite exactly figure out what that is. It's like some sort of nut basically. So it's like a, a nut and bolt type deal. And then the one underneath that stands for carriage bolt. So that's what all the translations and all this stuff is. It does appear to be some sort of weapon that you would use with both hands. So one hand would have like the kind of mace looking thing and then the other one has a hook. Now I definitely do not think they're going to give the character the ability to hook an enemy because Roadhog already does that. So what's left? Well, maybe you can hook an ally. Maybe you can grab one of your teammates and pull them towards you and out of danger. If it's like a defense character or a tank character, that might actually be something really good. I'm a little bit concerned that it might be used for kind of like, uh, you know, griefing purposes and stuff. Like maybe you can grab onto a teammate and then pull them over to you, but then you like drop them off a cliff. And I don't think that Blizzard would allow that. So there's probably going to be some sort of little mechanism that prevents them from doing that. Uh, as far as like the rest of it, I'm not really sure what you can see on the top left. I don't know exactly what that is, but if this is going to be Bridget, which it does look like it is, it's probably going to be a combination of Reinhardt and Torbjörn. And one of the things that Torbjörn originally had was that little claw hook thing. It never actually made it into the game. So maybe that thing on the top left might be like, it, it kind of looks like it a little bit, like a little delivery device or something. Or it could just be something completely different and like it's not even remotely related. But I do think that Bridget is probably going to have some sort of armor that's very similar to Reinhardt, but she's also going to incorporate a lot of the kind of like the mechanical Omnic type stuff that her father Torbjorn uses. Now this could be another situation where Bridget is just kind of making the armor and then someone else is using it, kind of like the whole uh, Efi and the Orisa situation, but I don't think so. I, I think they're more likely to actually just put Bridget into the game, give her a suit of armor, and make that a character. Now, the real question is, when are we getting Jetpack Cat? What do you guys think about all this stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.